So you preach this idea of looking at in depth of the benefits and side effects to major energy sources and use them to advocate your idea of using more fossil fuels. But I feel like you've neglected to mention the biggest side effect of fossil fuels and that, that it's a finite resource. Mm -hmm. Like obviously we're not gonna run out today or tomorrow, uh, but the analogy that I really like is that if you use your savings account to cover your daily expenses like coffee or lunch, eventually you'll run out of money. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is an important issue that I did not talk about today. I talk about it in the book and I'll talk about it now. So it's not exactly a side effect, but it's the idea is that, okay, you're using this thing. It's a quote, non-renewable resource. So if you kept using it indefinitely at some point in time, as long as it, now the sun is true of this true, the sun's going to burn out in 5 billion years. So if you keep relying on the sun for 5 billion years and we go 5 billion years in one day, then we're screwed, right? Because the sun isn't sustainable either. So nothing is renewable, nothing is sustainable. So the question is just how long is it going to last? And then what do you do about that? And the way energy works is that what makes sense to do is to use things that we have plenty of now and the foreseeable future and to be continually looking for better things. So when I, when I, I, don't, I was going to say when I fill my car up with gas, I don't actually drive, I just ride Uber. But when my Uber driver fills up his car with gas, he's not committing to using gasoline in 50 years. He's using gasoline because that's the most efficient thing right now. And what's happening is other people around the world are looking for, hey, how can we produce transportation energy in the cheapest way possible? And they can look at all kinds of different things, including if batteries get better, they can do that for certain things. You can use methanol, you can do all sorts of things. And what's happening is there's so much raw fossil fuel in the earth and we're so good at getting it that we have, you know, for many of them, hundreds of years worth of the stuff. So it makes total sense to do that. And at the same time, what we're doing is we're gaining knowledge that we can use to develop other forms of energy. And I wanna talk, one, one way that's helpful to think about this is the problem with what's called sustainability. I think some of you are from the Sustainability Council. And so I just wanna say, and I'm not saying this to offend you, so I'll explain it, but I am completely against sustainability. I think sustainability is a really bad idea. And why? What does sustainability mean? Sustainability really means indefinitely repeatable. It says, let's take actions that we can repeat over and over and over. Well, that's how animals live. But human beings, we progress. I don't wanna do the same thing over and over. I wanna do one thing and then learn from it and then do a better thing and then learn from it and do a better thing. So by using coal, we can produce energy and buy time and then we can learn how to produce oil. Then by producing oil, we can buy time and learn how to produce natural gas. We can learn how to produce nuclear. We can learn how to do fusion. So what's going on is that every resource is finite, but by using the best finite resource at a given time, we progress. So it's, there's not at all a problem that it's non-renewable. Don't think of it as a non-renewable source of energy. Think of it as it's the most progressive form of energy. It's the best form of energy now and for the foreseeable future, and it will enable us to develop even better forms of energy. So when they have a better form of energy, they should thank us for using all these fossil fuels that gave us the time and the knowledge for the next best thing. And then the people will thank them for the next best thing. But why on earth should we say, leaving aside solar has all kinds of side effects and problems, why should we use sources of energy that aren't very good on the grounds that we can use them indefinitely? Why would I want to do something that's not very good forever? Right? I don't want to do something bad for a long time. I want to do something good and then do something better and then do something better. 